Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, a couple of videos ago we put together this uh, full screen slider using the fantastic Divi theme. And I had a comment underneath which was a very valid comment uh, by a gentleman called Michael that said uh, the images you've used on this were huge, were very large. If I go back to my dashboard, and he's absolutely correct. When I build these, um, I'm building these, I don't know if you can see that, they're on localhost, which means I'm just building them locally on my machine. They're not going through a hosting company or anything like that. So actually the size of image and load time really doesn't matter when I'm doing these tutorials. But his valid point was, if I go into my media library, and we look at one of these images, Let's have a look at this one. It's not too bad that one. Um, I think one of these was absolutely huge. Yeah, this one. It's five thousand pixels by three fifty four, and it's four megabytes big. Okay, yes, that is absolutely huge. Size really does matter um, because the bigger a file size is, the longer it's going to take to load. Now nowadays internet speeds are an awful lot quicker but even so you want to factor it in. So for me because I'm building locally it really doesn't matter because I'm just using my local PC there's there's no internet involved. And if you want to learn how to um, set up sites locally on your machine I've got a course about that down below. But if you want to optimize your images you can either go into the edit screen and you can make it new dimensions here or actually when you insert something into your post, it's not going to show me here because I'm not doing it, um, you can choose to have it full thumbnail or whatever. But for me, usually when I'm working on a website, 1920 is pretty good for screen width because I mean Heidi is 1920 by 1080. So I figure if it's 1920, that's fine on most machines. Some of these big iMacs have these huge resolutions, so you might want to go a bit bigger with that. And you can actually, what I do is I go into Photoshop and, and I optimize them that way. It makes the file size smaller. Um, and if you don't have Photoshop, it's an expensive program. You can, I think there's a free version called GIMP, G-I-M-P, that you can get that do the same thing. Or you can go onto sites like Tiny PMG. Tiny, that's Tiny P for Peter, N for Nancy, G for George. Dot com, and you can optimize some images that way. But uh, like Michael said, it is a good idea to optimize your images. I've mentioned it before in the past. Quite often, I skip over it because I'm too involved with whatever the project is I'm doing. And uh, Michael also sent me this link. Elegant themes have actually got to. A nice guide here about using images with Divi. Some of it's you know pretty obvious, obviously, but you can pick up some tips. Although I I know a lot about this sort of thing, I always look at tips and things like that because there's always something new to learn. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Like I say, if you're building building your site, and you download from Unsplash and places like that these beautiful free images. Yeah, optimize them first for your site. Reduce them in size a bit. It will it will help the load time of your site. And load time ultimately does help you in Google speed page rankings. So if it's a slow site, you're going to go down in the Google search engine slightly. Not, not a whole lot, but uh, every little bit helps. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.